Hello, on this first Friday of Lent, I'm Chris Pieper. I'm Megan Pieper. And today we have taken the first reading from uh, the Daily Mass on Friday. This is from the book of Isaiah. It's chapter 58, verses 1 through 9, and it talks about true fasting. So we'll read it here. Shout aloud, do not hold back. Raise your voice like a trumpet. Declare to my people their rebellion and to the house of Jacob their sins. For day after day they seek me out. They seem eager to know my ways as if they were a nation that does what is right and has not forsaken the commandments of its God. They ask me for just decisions and seem eager for God to come near them. Why have we fasted, they say, and you have not seen it? Why have we humbled ourselves and you have not noticed? Yet on the day of your fasting, you do as you please and exploit all your workers. Your fasting ends in quarreling and strife and in striking each other with wicked fists. You cannot fast as you do today and expect your voice to be heard on high. Is this the kind of fast I have chosen, only a day for a man to humble himself? Is it only for bowing one's head like a reed and for lying on sackcloth and ashes? Is that what you call a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? Is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen? To loosen the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke? To set the oppressed free and break every yoke? Is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter? When you see the naked, to clothe him and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood? Then your light will break forth like the dawn, and your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go for, before you, and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Then you will call, and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. So there's, there's a lot to unpack so with this one. <laughs> there's a lot to unpack with this. Um, I think we think about fasting and we think about it as something that we have to do, something that is required of us. Like an inconvenience. And it's really not. Um, and I think the reading does a nice job of explaining that people fasting because it is expected of them, but then when it comes time to fast, they do it on their own terms. They do it... Um, based off what they have to do that day. It's something that is on their plate. They have to take care of it. But God is telling us to look at fasting a different way. How can we serve others? How can we take care of others? How can we help people that are struggling? How can we help our neighbor? Yeah, and that our intent and um, and how we participate in Lent, you know, fasting and giving alms, and um, it's... Um, and then also prayer, it's not just for us and like what we get from it, but it's, um, using it as an opportunity to become closer to God, to, to follow him in a true way and not in a way that is selfish, that I'm going to get something that, you know, I'm going to be rewarded, but actually, um, our generosity is, is what's most important, um, and it says, it says, why have we fasted, they say, and you have not seen it? Why have we humbled ourselves and you have not noticed? They're demanding to know why they're not being rewarded when they feel like that they have done their duty. But God is not looking for us to do our duty. God is looking for us yeah, it's to not about checking take the boxes. care of each other. Yeah. God is looking for us. How can we serve others while we serve God? Because I, I think it's saying we serve God by serving others. We serve God, we serve the Lord by serving our fellow man and taking care of each other. Um, and it's kind of strange, this first reading taking place in a week which our, our nation is really in need of service from others. If we look what's going on in Texas, if we look oh, what's going Texas, on yeah. uh, throughout, throughout, throughout our country, people that are suffering because of the weather. So how can we serve those people that are defi definitely in need? People who have lost their jobs because of the pandemic. Um, and are struggling to put food on the table, you know, how can we, um, I don't know, how can, we, how can we serve people who, um, who are really struggling? 
right now. So hopefully this can give you some peace of mind on fasting. We're fasting for more than just it's the right thing to do. And I would encourage you to go and read the entire chapter 58 of Isaiah um, because there's a lot after that that talks a little bit more about the, the reward that the Lord will give for those who serve others in this type of fasting through service. So we pray for you that your fasting will be meaningful throughout this Lent and that you will be able to serve others through your fasting. Thanks and God Thank bless. You.